we are back in our Unix shell. And remember, we had the PWD to see print working directory, what directory we are in. The ls to see the list of files and folders in this directory. And we talk about cd to change to another directory. But to be able to change to another directory, we need to have another directory. And in this um, directory, at the moment, we only have two text files. How do I know that? When I actually list the commands in long form, I need to see a d here at the beginning of the line if they are directories. So we don't have directories in this um, Python for data science yet. So let's create one. The command to create that is called mkdir. It stands for make directory. So it's mkdir, and I'm making my first directory, my first dir. Okay? So if I say ls now, I'll see my first dir, my first directory is here. I can now display the contents of this directory in long form. And I'll see that there's a D here um, in, in the beginning of the first line. Right? Now let's also see those hidden files. Remember, if you remember from our last video, the option to see hidden files and folders was dash A. We'll combine that with the long option. So we'll say dash slash, uh, so, um, we'll say ls dash L A long and hidden form. When we look at that, we see that my first directory is a directory. Dot dot that stands for the parent directory is a directory. And dot that stands for the current directory is a directory. So now I can move to any of these directories. I'll change my directory cd into my first dir. If you look inside it, there is nothing. Let's clear. We are in my first dir, my first directory. And if we do the long option, there's nothing. So how do we get those hidden files? ls minus a. Right. So now if we say ls parent directory for this directory under Python for data science, we'll see everything in Python for data science. And I would like to see the contents of fruits.txt in that uh, Python for data science. So we'll say cat dot dot slash fruits.txt, and we would see the contents of fruits.txt. What if I would like to actually copy fruits.txt to the directory I'm in right now. I can simply use another Unix command, cp, that stands for copy, cp dot dot slash fruits.txt, and I would like to copy it to this directory. What's the short for this directory is dot. Right? So I said get the fruits.txt in my parent directory, slash fruit, uh, dot dot slash fruits.txt, and bring it here, cp, copy, source, and destination. Now if I ls under this directory, I'll see that I have a copy of fruits.txt here. If I ls the parent directory, I have a copy of um, fruits.txt there, because I literally copied it. I didn't move it. If I wanted to have only one copy of fruits.txt in my system in this directory, I would have just said move fruits.txt to this directory. So instead, we'll use the move command for Shakespeare.txt. We know the parent directory has Shakespeare.txt. I can say move mv, another Unix command, dot dot slash Shakespeare.txt to here. Let's clear um, this. So we use the move option, right? So now, when I say ls, I'll see that there is the shakespeare.txt and fruits.txt here. Just think for a sec. If I say ls 
dot dot for the parent directory what you expect to see in there. In particular, would you expect to see Shakespeare.txt there? The answer is no, because instead of copying Shakespeare.txt, we actually literally moved it using the move command. Now, in this directory, we have two text files. If I wanted to just display all the text files, I could use, make use of that wildcard option. Remember that star character? And say ls star.txt. So what I'm communicating to the shell here is I would like to list anything with a .txt option, uh, .txt extension. So ls star.txt will give me all the text files in this directory. So now that we reviewed our basic commands, we can move to the next video.